everyone this is a new tutorial and we're gonna be making this girl here this is not a follow along tutorial we'll be we'll not be going through every steps let's not waste time and get started first what I do is I make a base mess of hair I don't care about anatomy at all in this stage I just make these loops go perfectly around each other here you can see the loops are perfect but the anatomy is poor we just have to get it done and then we will sculpt it to give it a proper anatomy definition i have not made ears yet but because we can add it later on so just don't focus on anatomy just focus on getting these loops correct at the first step so let's make one for ourselves we will be adding a plane uh, let's rotate this subdivide hit w and subdivide this and we were going to delete these vertices after that we're going to adding add a mirror modifier okay tick mark these clipping options here this point is going to be the corner of eyebrow this point is going to be the cheekbone and this coin is going to be the corner of the jaw what i want to say is repeat this step in every face you make okay because all the faces can be made from same topology untick this clipping and then we are going to extrude and scale it down this will give us the eyes we are going to clip this clipping thing again and we are going to extrude this for the mouth ok Don't forget about anatomy for this time After we get this thing what we do is we add a loop in the top of the eye and we add another loop in the corner of the mouth. So we grab this, we extrude everything in the top for making the back of the head. So let's extrude it and rotate it. Let's scale it in this x, y axis a little bit to make this straight. do is we have to this is right here and we merge this two mouth we will grab all of this and move it towards the corner let's make another loop right here let's make another loop right here let's add a loop right here and to fix this we will Zone these two, and we will dissolve this edge. And what we do now is we change this point straight to the top. Now that is done. Let's.
Now that the important loops of face is complete, we are going to export this mesh to a sculpting program. I'll be using Zerpros for this issue. File, click on File, Export, and then Export by Front OBJ.